all right guys so now let's talk about booleans okay so booleans are true and false okay so this is the same thing how we were saying hey we could put into a variable a nil we can also put into a variable a true or false statement so we're going to come here and look at this example that i have here for you guys so let's say something like this so like all of this on commenting and we have a variable called bot item now if it's false if it's you say hey bot item is equal to false then when you run a if statement you're saying if bot item is true then it's gonna go and print this out else is going to run this is false okay now if we come here to our crystal playground and we run this right it says this is false and that's because the bot item variable actually has a false boolean okay inside of it now you can also check if something is true statement or a false statement let's say with something like this like math you could come here and say um let's say two plus two right equals two to four we save that come here run it and it says this statement is true so that's how you use booleans okay you can check to see if a statement is actually a true or false or you can also check if a variable has the properties of true or false and then you could use it with your code accordingly okay so for example there's another good example let's say uh, user logged in right so you say is user logged in okay and then that's a variable you say true so now you could come here and use it and say is user logged in so this statement is true you could say welcome back Joe or you could say please log in okay so we save that we come here run the code it says welcome back Joe okay because the user is logged in now if the user was logged out right or logged off then this will be a false statement okay so you say okay this is false this variable holds the boolean of false inside of it so now when we run our code it says please log in okay so that's how you use booleans guys i'm gonna see you guys in the next video